What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for clicking on the video. Um, I, first of all, want to apologize for my horrendous appearance. Um, I have been up since 3.30 this morning. I had to be at work at 5, so when I got home I took a shower and said, I don't care what I look like. <laughs> And so that is why I am currently in a t-shirt that looks like I've spilled things on it. I haven't. I'm not sure what all this is. I don't know what's happening there. And um, I've got my sweats on and my slipper socks and I'm about to make dinner. And I'm so excited because I am in my first collab with a bunch of other you awesome YouTube mamas that are also making their family's favorite dish. So if you just click down in the description bar, you'll go to a playlist with all their awesome videos and you can check out something new that maybe you want to make for your family for dinner. I am making tuna pillows. This is a recipe that my grandma taught my mom, my mom taught me, my mom made it all the time. It was something that my dad loved, so we had it all, all the time. All you really need is a bowl. I use two boxes of the Philadelphia cream cheese. This is a whole white onion. I use two of these Pillsbury crescent rolls for no reason other than that makes enough for my family. Salt and pepper and cream of chicken soup. Now, uh, my grandma always made it with cream of mushroom but I do not eat fungus. So, I use cream of chicken and it tastes just as good. You're just putting it on. Oh crap, the tuna. And of course, tuna. Because it wouldn't be tuna pillows without it, right? Your cream cheese needs to be soft so that you can stir it in the bowl. want to preheat your oven to 350. Let's do that. And then you're ready to spoon it out. Stop. Oh. Best by March 19th, 2018. So note to self when making tuna pillows, be sure to check that your crescent rolls are not actually out of date. Side. Who loves my cup? So, uh, my husband went out to get more crescent rolls because those were expired. And he brought back crescent dough sheets. <laughs> I'm improvising. <laughs> You just break this apart, obviously, lay it on your cookie sheet. I already have this um, sprayed so that it, the stuff doesn't stick to it. Normally, you would lay these in like a triangle and put the filling in there. But because these are rectangles right now, <laughs> um, I'm going to lay them out like I've got them and put the filling inside. It, They're going to taste the same. It'll be fine. <laughs> you take each corner and wrap it like this. And then because these aren't triangles, you'll take it like this 
and like that. It's fine if some of the filling sticks out, not a big deal. So what you do next is just pop them in the oven and cook them until they're until the crescent rolls are done. Or in this case, the crescent dough sheets are cooked. I wish you guys could smell this right now. There's my tuna pillows. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time.